no blueies were harmed in the making of this video. Hey guys, Zoggy again here with the Poop Squad. And it's been a while since I got to play with Freaky Coder, and so we had to catch up on a lot of things he's missed. Um, mainly Battlefield 4, a little bit of Battlefield 1, and uh, we reminisced a little bit. Things we like to do from Battlefield 3, like cheap tossing. Pretty sure I'm still number one for my own explosives. And look at that distance. Holy crap! That wasn't supposed to happen. Poop Squad! Now here at the Poop Squad, we like to bring videos. Videos to help you maybe improve your game. Maybe just some videos to enjoy watching. Or maybe something to get a laugh out. A couple of good jokes. Anyway, for instance, pulling security on a building. You gotta make sure you pie corners. I mean, stepping right and facing the direction you're turning. Taking down enemies and watching for equipment. Make sure also, periodically, if you're alone, to check security. Make sure no one's coming behind you. If you're ready to take down more enemies. And me, I kind of like to reload once or maybe after one or two guys. And I also like to help out blueies or newbies with where the fire's coming from. Over here, stupid. Ramp, ramp. And make sure you continue clearing the building. Battlefield will bring you a lot of weird situations to get caught up in. For instance, when you're caught between a tank and an AA, always go for the wiener shot. Now when going into an objective with by yourself or a large group of guys, it's important for you to know when to chase when not to chase and when not to reload not chasing here and making sure you check your corners before exiting doorways and bring a buddy with you stupid security staying alive through a situation sometimes comes down to making sure you've got the right weapon in hand like against cod players moron or systematically taking down the correct opponent guys see you moving around, taking out the guy that doesn't see you, staying close to the vehicle, and reloading once in a while. Now sometimes you're going to get caught in your victory kill, doing a little teabag, and some guy who's playing Wallflower is going to get the best of you. But it's okay. My One of my favorite things, not, not my favorite, one of my favorite things is payback. Especially if morons you try hiding through you know, wood structures. It's almost as fun as trying to make snipers fly. Womp womp. <laughs> that didn't look good. Now, Battlefield also can bring some harsh realities. Sometimes, for instance, like this, when you realize you are no longer first in MRAP tossing. Yep. That is an MRAP. They do that. Hats off. Now remember, when taking down an objective with more than one guy, just gotta pay attention to your senses. Pay attention to the sounds, remember where people are, and just think quick on your feet. Now I like taking out helicopters with rockets, and every once in a while you get one of those guys that, you know, doesn't go down with the ship. That's alright, that's what they make grenades for. Here's a quick tip, mines in front of an elevator will kill anybody inside, doesn't matter, every time. Here's another quick tip. Talking about taking down more than one guy, let the moron that doesn't see you go, and then come back to him later, after you've murdered his boyfriend. Sometimes I like to make people think I didn't see him, going one way, and then just sidestepping. 
now. That's embarrassing. And just random, if you're ever at the end of a game and you really don't got nothing to do, I mean, just shoot anything. You just, you never know. So let me introduce you to the squad. I'm Augie. I'm the guy that runs into the room and murders everybody. And this, this is the worst one. Figure out why we call him the worst one? <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. He probably doesn't even know what he was doing. But, you know, you get used to it. Everybody has different play styles. Me, I just like running, balls to the wall, seeing how many SOBs I can take down with me. Sometimes that methodology gets me killed, Sometimes it puts me in nice sticky situations where I get to steal a couple of good clips and make fun of people. Now the worst one, he's really not the worst one. He's actually awesome at team play and picking up tons of points. In reality, he's probably just got a lot more patience than the rest of us. Nah, you ain't fixing that bro. Now, worse is awesome for having at your side, running around, throwing you ammo, healing you, reviving you. Like I said, awesome team player. But, you know, when you teabag the worst, I mean, come on, bro. Nobody teabags the worst. Now, eat the nuts. And then there's Hemp Knight. What do you say about Hemp Knight? 50 cal extraordinaire never seen so many complacent people. Hem Knight's also a good drunken driver. I'm not talking about jeeps, I'm talking about helicopters. I mean, he sucks sober, but you know, when he's drunk, <laughs> amazing. And he's good with an RPG. I mean, that was just on the quick spot. And sure, it was close, but I mean, hey, like any other Hoop Squad member, Hemp's definitely got the RPG down. I mean, that's gotta be embarrassing. Sometimes I'm not even sure if he's alive. I mean, no reflexes, no snap, no response, just nonchalant, blowing crap up. Yeah, thanks, man. And then there's Brownie. What do you say about Brownie? It's an awesome foot soldier. He's, he's actually a really good foot soldier, good team player. I just I can't keep him out of the fucking helicopter. The kid won't stay out of it. I'm, I'm not even sure if, like... If he knows what it means to be a team player. I mean, no offense. I mean, take that the wrong way, but I, I think he's got something wrong with him. I think he's, like, some kind of, like, autoorexia or something. Just... But I... It is kind of hard to be mad at him because, I mean, he's, he's good at what he does. Probably the best air support, you know, I've seen. If that's not sickening, I one time watched Brownie, underdog, flying backwards in a helicopter, tow another helicopter. Observe. Brownie, douchebag about to get blown up by a tow. Tow missile. And go. Now that's sickening. And then there's the Kiwi. What do you say about the Kiwi? Captain, oh my captain, I will follow you to the ends of the earth. Brewster's probably one of the best players I've seen. Well, I mean, I mean, almost as good as me, but, you know. Pretty much anything that Rooster picks up, or doesn't pick up, I get to pick up. Thanks, buddy. But me and Rooster got a lot of memories together. Like, for instance, the time we realized or found out how to unlock the midnight camo on Battlefield 1. You guys want to see how to piss off a Kiwi? Seriously, I had no idea there was a trip wire in here. Womp womp. Me, personally, I don't know why he's super upset, because, I mean, Midnight Camo's pretty sick. It's hard to get, but 
still pretty good looking. See, bro? It looks good on you. Man, come on. No hard feelings. And here's the 360 no scope and spin COD player that tried taking Rooster out in Battlefield 1. Stupid COD player. Wieners are for girls. And when we all get together, we poop. And sometimes, when you shoot the admin in the head, well, he doesn't like that kind of stuff, I guess. Hard day in life in the poop. So that's uh, just a couple of the guys. Um, you know, we like to uh, we like to take out campers, especially mortaring fools. We love running up, catching people off guard, trying to catch us off guard. Moron. Really, a bow? Shotgun? Good gosh. And we love working as a team. Thank you, Rooster. And never underestimate the power of suppression. It's what allows you to run out like a fool and take out the sniper. And we're always letting Blueys die first. And even if it's on accident, we're always watching out for each other. Pretty much go everywhere together. Especially if it means killing someone. Wamp wamp. was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the scenery. I wasn't reloaded anyway. And uh, hit a like and a share. If you catch that guy at the top of the building it won't come down. It's alright. Just knock the building over. He'll come down. So we'll see you guys again later. And remember Pay attention, unlike these guys. Good gosh. What are you shooting at, bro? What? What the? Look at this dude. Now, watch me and Crazy Torment 13 destroy a room full of treasure goblins. See you guys later.